Right, well, good morning, folks. You guessed it. Welcome to South Wales. Welcome to Nap Beach. Slept in the van overnight, and here we are set up. We're going to give it one last shot before we leave South Wales. One last shot I'd like to get either a small eye or a spotted ray this morning. That would make the trip complete. I can go home a happy man. Oh, 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 oh. Now we've got, it's the morning of big battles. I've termed it the morning of big battles because I slept like shit and I need something to get me going in the morning. Um, so, rods today. I've got the Akios Air Power, which you'll have seen me use a hundred times before. And then I've got a Ron Thompson Accelerator. After fishing with Nige the other week on Anglesey, he swears by them. Uh, and when he was macro bashing, he, he, honestly, he could ping a six ounce lead with one of them. And then Mike of Mike's rigs popped up. He gets tackle all the time to sell on. Uh, popped up. With a with an accelerator, I was like, "Yeah, go on then, I'll have it." So we've got Akios versus accelerator. That's battle number one. Now, yesterday I managed to I managed to save one of Rob's rigs, dongle rigs. It was the only one I didn't snap off or lose or whatever. Um, and we're still fishing braid, by the way, today. Uh, I'm not deviating away from braid for a long time now. And I found in my rig box, rig wallet this morning, a Mike's Rigs dongle rig. That's battle number two. Rob's Rigs versus Mike's Rigs. And then battle number three, I got one of the lads that was leaving last night, gave me some bait. So I've got some riot baits, anchovies are they? And uh, I've got some wrigglers baits, anchovies as well. So. We've got riots versus wrigglers. So like I say, a morning of big battles, purely made up completely in my own head. Um, I don't want anybody falling out over it. Uh, it's purely just to try and get me enthusiastic this morning. Um, so we've got Akios versus Accelerator, we've got Mike's versus Rob's, and we've got uh, riots versus wrigglers. Yeah, that's about it, really. Um, cracking sunrise, weather looks spot on. To be honest, I would be tempted to stay and fish all day if this session goes off. So. I basically said to Sarah, I'll be home tonight at some point. In my mind, I'm going to fish here and then I'm going to go home. So I'll be home for about mid-afternoon. If this goes off and I end up full of beans again, I could end up staying again uh, and fishing somewhere over high water in a bit. The weather looks, like I say, looks spot on. Um, there's no rain forecast. Apart from the old clouds you can see out on the horizon, there are no clouds behind screen at all. The wind has dropped right off and it's supposed to, I think it's about, forecast is about eight mile an hour now, uh, and it's supposed to drop to two or three later on. So it could be a blooming good day for it. Now, Nat Beach, it's not really one of them marks that takes my fancy, to be honest. Uh, I've fished it before. I think we had uh, dogs and bits and pieces like that. Um, but yeah, it's just not one that really tickles my pickle um, but having said that so Nige who I mentioned we were fishing with on Anglesey a couple of weeks ago when Tommy and Daz ditched us and went over on the red hot mark um, so Nige has actually come down uh, he messaged me saying are you in South Wales I'm in South Wales so he's come down in search of a, um, a blonde ray for the species hunt uh, he fished here yesterday last night so basically last night while I was fishing Fonty um, and catching ca catching blondes, I nearly said, when I caught my one blonde, um, he was on here catching spotted. So, uh, and I think he had about eight, which means I'm going to blank. But so we are kind of chasing the fish a little bit. It's a little bit of movement on the air power. Let me spin around just in case, just in case. I shall zoom in, do some wizardry in the editing and zoom in once I get the camera set up. Set you there. That air power just, just seemed to be bobbing about. There's not much swell, as you can see, the sea's flat calm. Um, there's no weed, as I can see, floating about. So yeah, so Nige was down here catching, catching spotted last night. Now obviously a daylight tide 
fish is completely different to a night time tide. So we might be chasing fish that aren't even here anymore. But that's the thing I like about sea fishing. You're not fishing into a bucket with a load of carp in it. You're fishing into, there's a vast expanse. The fish could be, could have left five minutes ago. Probably did leave five minutes ago when they saw me walking down the beach, but there we go. Right, well, the air light has come through once again. Micro bass. <laughs> I mean, I thought yesterday's was small, but this guy, I mean, he's that cute, look. His, his spines aren't even going to prickle me. They're that soft. I mean, just, just look. Look at the size of him. Absolutely perfect. Teeny tiny little bass. Anyway, we're off the mark. Um, we've got about an hour and a half till low water. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to put new fresh baits on, worm baits, send it out on the air light, see if we can get a few bigger ones of these because that seemed to work well for me the other day. Let's just watch him go back. And look at him. Look how cute he is. And shallows. Well, I reckon that could come off now, to be honest. Whoa, it's an absolutely stunning morning. I wish I hadn't got three hoodies on. Um, we made it all the way down to the beach. I could do with my bloody peak cap instead. Yeah, we made it all the way down to the beach. Uh, we've got... What have we got? An hour to low water. Um, I've brought the air light in even closer now because as I was reeling in last time there was a couple of little flashes just in probably 15 feet off the edge of the water probably no more than a foot of water um, so I've cast that out about 30 yards or so didn't clip it down or anything just left it flapping um, put fresh ragworm baits on uh, on the two big rods now, what have we got? we've got a cap line on one and then on the other one I've got a chunk of herring and a load of ragworm just because I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm just trying to mix things up. So Nigel just messaged me who I said I'd had the spotted last night because he was parked up here asleep, only just got up the lazy shit. Um, yeah, he's just messaged me and says, yeah, yeah, um, yesterday through the day I didn't get a single bite. I was like, right, brilliant. But we are going to persevere. I mean, I've got a box full of bait. Oh, and we've got a rogue dog as well. Um, I've got a box full of bait to get through. I've got some ragworm to get through. So we may as well give it his best shot, aren't we? All right, let's see what these other baits are doing. These have been out about 15 minutes as well. Should we just go a big ragworm mix on this one? Just put a big dollop of ragworm on to it. See if there's anything out there to take it. And a couple other anglers turned up down there now. I assume they're going to fish it from low all the way up to high. I think high is probably about five or six o'clock this afternoon. Pick clean again. Right. Ragworm bait and it can have 10 minutes. Tell you what, see if we can get some fancy, fancy casting shots, shall we? That was terrible, but it might make a nice still. Right, let's have a go. I'm doing a similar thing with the air power. If I can see when I'm in shot, there I am. Bring that down. Maybe a bit more drop to this air. Let's not go for the silly side step. 
that I've never done before and thought it'd be a good idea to try right there and then. Simple. One of them. To be fair, the other one went further. Didn't feel as good, but it went further. Well, folks, the air light is properly saving my skin at the minute. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. Another couple of tiny little schoolie bass. Double shot. Like I say, it's keeping me entertained for a little bit. Absolute pristine condition. I get these put back, send them back on the way. Hopefully they'll get nice and big. Happy days. Well, these lot of guys are keeping me entertained. I think that's about me uh, ninth or tenth on the little air light. I just wish they'd put up a bit more of a fight or send the mum or dad to tell me off. I've changed the uh, changed the, the air power now. I've just put a squid bait out. I've put that relatively close in just to see if we can't entice a big one. I mean, I'm all for sharing the waters and everything. And like I said earlier, the sea's a pretty big place. And yet you've got this. Now, I don't think I could quite hit him with a cast. The guy next to me certainly thinks that he's fishing in his spot. Yeah, interesting choice. Very interesting choice. All right, well, folks, that is a wrap. Um, fished two hours back up tide. We had a few more small bass. Uh, Lado came and parked his boat out front of us. Um, no fish on the big rods, not even a sniff on the big rods. It doesn't matter whether I put out small squid baits, ragworm baits. The only thing that was out there today were those tiny small bass. Um, but that's 36 hours down in South Wales completed and not a blank session to be had. Um, not exactly filled with monster fish that we were hoping for, but that's fishing for you. Uh, it could have been completely opposite, who knows. So, um, while I've been fishing today, I've been deliberating whether to put this out as three individual videos or one longer sort of series documentary, not documentary, but yeah, you know what I mean. I think I'm going to put them out as three shorter videos, but let me know in the comments because I'm keen next year to do a few more trips like this. So let me know in the comments, um, would you rather have shorter videos more often or longer videos and less frequent? I have zero plans for where we're going to go next. Um, I really do not know. I think I mentioned it in a previous video, I've got loads of ideas, but nothing set in stone as yet. So I really haven't got a clue where we're going to end up next. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and until then, take care of yourselves and tight lines.